I'm so excited. Tim is so excited. He's already out with the boys. I'm getting ready. Here's my little fit check. I don't know why it gets so dark, but here's my little outfit. I am obsessed. So cute. I'm late per usual. So I'm gonna head out. Let's go see Drake. We made it to Drake. So excited. The show was technically supposed to start at 7 and then he pushed it back until 8. So it's actually 7.55 right now, but there's no way it's starting at 8. I mean, look how empty it is. So we were just at Miller and Lux and we just got a quick bite to eat, some drinks, and we used their little private entrance to walk through and come into Chase Center and it was so fast. The security was amazing. It felt so luxe, but I'm pretty sure anyone who dines at Miller and Lux, you can use that entrance, which is so clutch. There was no line at all. It literally took like five minutes to get to our seats. It was so crazy. These are amazing seats. that was above floor so we were kind of eye level to him which was incredible but then he also worked like the left side and the right side so he just gave a lot of like attention to honestly everyone i don't know and he was so sweet he said so many really nice things that man why is he single how is he single kim k should take him up now we're gonna see what we get up to good morning i feel delusional right now because my body is in so much pain i feel like this is the thing you end up facing when you're like in your late 20s and then as you start getting older it's just like any time I don't go to bed by like 11 or midnight and I'm not on my normal like routine I just feel so tired and I think I was dehydrated I don't know wearing heels for like three four hours here's a funny story about Cynthia sorry for my hair <laughs> actually I'm not sorry because it's kind of sick you look like a parakeet I always say he does here's a funny thing about Cynthia when we're out in public spaces it concerns me that she doesn't drink enough water and then when we're out in public spaces she especially doesn't drink enough she's like because I don't I'm gonna like be a cacti and not drink any water because I don't want to pass any water because she doesn't want to use the, the restroom, public restroom. Yeah. So we're literally, even if we're on like a six hour excursion, like we were at Drake, where we're standing, we're screaming, we're dancing, we're, you know, just expending a lot of energy, no water. Well, Chase Center actually would have been okay. We just didn't get water before and then we weren't gonna leave the concert to go get water. But yeah, normally when I'm like out and about, I don't love to drink too much No water, water gang, stand up. Yeah, that is a fun, not really fun, but a fact about me. And also on the airplane, my gosh, I will refuse to drink water because I hate peeing on an airplane that badly. Let me know if you're like that too. I can't be the only one. We are up, we are Adam, we're headed to Core Power. I booked this yesterday. I literally, halfway through the Drake concert, I tried to cancel and I was like, ah! 
can't. So we are up and we're going. In a lot of pain, hopefully yoga like stretches me out. Let's go. Okay, we're here in San Mateo. We actually love it down here because it's so nice and warm. Like at that sunshine. And there's a lot of really good food. So today we're gonna try to try this place called Gao. It's like a Viet spot that is like super popular. We put ourselves on the Yelp wait list and it was a two hour wait or something. Um, so we're gonna try and see if we can get in. And then TPT is also here. So Got might that. get a TPT after. I love this weather, so nice and warm. Such a nice like downtown area. Are you ready for the suburb life? <laughs> <laughs> Big question. Loaded question. Uh, yeah, I mean, are you? Pretty dope. Okay. This is a hot pot place and it's really good. to get TPT obviously and mm, so good. They didn't have the QQ noodles so I just got boba and grass jelly in mine. Yum. Yum. You like the jasmine? I've never had it. Yeah, Normally I'm not a big jasmine. I was just trying it. I almost got the winter melon one. Oh really? <laughs> what do you think? It's good. Do you like the classic it's one? It's missing something. Mm. Mm. Well, Sunday football, which Scott Let's loves. Let's go! <laughs> And then we ordered some dumpling time. So good. We were actually watching my video of Supreme Dumplings in Seattle. And then we started craving dumplings. Wow. Those noodles look great. Yeah. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, fun day. Hope everyone's having a productive, healthy weekend. Get ready for the week ahead of them. Summer's still going. We got long days, warm weather, football starting, quality time with my wife, quality time with some friends this weekend. And then we got a great dinner tonight. Which is your favorite? Oh, you like the woodier? We're here in Russian Hill and we're going to eat Saru. I'm so excited. We're bringing Nick and Jess, so his brother and his brother's girlfriend for the first time. They haven't been yet. And I'm so excited for them to try because it's so good. It's nice and warm today. It's like 80 degrees, which is perfect. So let's head over. We're here. Hello. Hi. 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 headed out to the Ikea launch event. I'm so excited. I can't believe there's literally an Ikea opening in San Francisco. Up until now, if we want to go shopping at Ikea, we have to go to the one in Emeryville or Palo Alto. So I'm really excited that they're finally opening one in the city. So let's go to their launch event. We're at Ikea. We're so lucky in San Francisco to have them. This is pretty amazing. Wow, look at everything they have. So amazing. Both of our first apartments was actually Ikea everything. And I still gotta say their cabinets, even some of their like storage tables and units are really great. And I think that when you open the Ikea thing and it's like a bunch of pieces spill out, it's always a little bit intimidating, but I think yeah. once you organize it and you take like a little bit of time to put it all together with a great partner, it's actually it's comes together pretty bad. quickly. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually always the worst at assembling anything and I absolutely hate assembling, but Ikea is like doable. So nice. we're gonna go eat some Swedish food. Ikea's iconic meatballs. Look at this setup. Back 
bachelorette finale. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I'm so obsessed. Sorry for the sun. I'm gonna wear some knee high boots. So very cute. We're gonna bring our little hammers. How cute. Oh my gosh. And then Tim's wearing the Blackpink merch that I got yesterday. On the back, it has all the world tour dates. I bought the long sleeve version. So if I get cold, I can just throw that on. Super cute. I got larges for both because I wanted it to be a little oversized for me, but it's also perfect because it fits Tim. Win-win. Okay, let's go. These are my Stuart Weissman boots. I love them. I've had them for a while. They're super comfy and give you some coverage if you're wearing a skirt. I never wear skirts really, but they're great. And that's that's the finished look. I've been loving, this is the jacket I wore to Drake. I've been loving just like having it undone like that and it's super warm, which is perfect for us. Let's go. This is our sweet. This is the view. I'm so excited. Our suite's great. I know. Front great center. view. Oh, <laughs> 